Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now, just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you, the kind of leader you are, they're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, right? Think it over. Of course, take your time, but I want you to think about some things. The way you've treated me doesn't exactly instill a lot of confidence in you as a guardian to that child. I don't like being threatened. I don't like being lied to. I don't think Clementine would much like that either. And it's a shorter trip from me to her than you might imagine. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me it sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. No. She's a good kid. Knows how to use Hilda. You be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. 
I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Sam, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Huh. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God. Did everyone leave without us? Or what happened here? Is Vern really a bad guy? Maybe he's one of the Crawford guys. Oh, God! That just came out of nowhere. safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really.
Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, but I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. Lee, I know you had my back when we first teamed up. You really looked out for me and mine. But ever since then, you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. What about you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me. Even Ben. Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh man. Twice killed the boy in the eye. Yeah, I didn't kill him and just oh man, I'm so excited for the next chapter. It's also the last chapter. Oh man, I can't believe it. It's all coming to an end. <laughs> oh, I'm actually kind of sad cuz Lee. Wow, I was in a majority that did show the body. I, I thought a lot of people wouldn't. Okay. And a lot of people decided to pull Ben. Some people didn't. Threaten or lied to him. Oh, really? Really? 
I, I guess Vernon hates being lied to. I guess when I said that she's my daughter, that was a lie. I don't know. He's kind of a jerk, though. Okay, for a majority, I actually went with a lot of people's decisions. Okay, whatever. I'm just... Who came with you? Oh, dang. What is this? It looks like... Oh, man. So, okay. 16% had everyone... 14, I'm in the 14% with uh, most people. Although Kenny could have came with us. That would have been cool. Oh, well. And yeah, that was chapter 4. Oh, man. Chapter 5 is coming up and it's going to be the epic conclusion. And uh, I'll probably play the DLC so it won't have to end just like that. Oh, it's going to it's gonna be crazy. I can't believe we're already here it's only gonna get better from here on out I was really quiet this part there wasn't a whole lot to say anyways that, that was good that was good it wasn't as emotionally dramatic as episode 3 but it was still pretty good it still had a lot of stuff to it also Molly looks like Heather or is it Cheryl I'm just gonna call her Cheryl Silent Hill 3. I don't know, I just... It, I got that feeling of Silent Hill 3 while playing this episode. I blame Molly. She, uh... I wonder if there was any influence from her because of that. Also, my mouse disconnected. So, sorry about that little th tone. You know, the one that, uh... Plays every now and then whenever I just happen to move the computer like so. Because, uh, yeah, the mouse seems to uh, disconnect when I do that. But anyways, that was chapter 4. There's not a whole lot to say other than I'm going back to Resident Evil. Lee is now Hatchet Man, and he's going to be the Hatchet Man. I didn't think that crossover would exist between the two LPs, but I guess it does. Oh, man. I can't believe it's all coming down. It's... This is sad. I, I, my friend said that something crazy, like something crazy, happens at the end. I always suspected it was gonna be something like this, but I, I just you finish chapter four and you just understand how everything's gonna happen. And now I'm sad. I really don't want to play episode five. It's gonna be the saddest episode ever.